Hello everyone and welcome back to Satellite Rain. We're here, we're gonna take down the Ronin facility. We really, really are. I'm gonna figure out a way to do it, and then we're gonna do it. I haven't figured it out yet, but we're nearby. I uh, fast traveled to the, sorry, fast traveled to the beacon near it. I did manage to hack another um, ATM over here. I think that was over there. Sure, we'll say it was over there. Um, so we're going to get a little bit more money as things go on. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and s go through Ronin Facilities, um, Ronin Industries, rather, and see what we can see. There should be a way to do this, um, just by nature of logic. Worst comes to worst, we get into a firefight. What I did do, for better or for worse, is I equipped everyone with pistols. Um, I realized that my sniper was only three bullets, had only three bullets left, which is not great. Um, and that everyone else was at 20 for their Uzi, but pistols have unlimited ammo, so we're going to keep with pistols for now, and then we'll see what we can see. Um, so let's see. So we've got, let's do the world view here. So, we've got cameras all over the place, um, which we could theoretically disable, assuming we can get some of these guys to work. So, for like this guy, for just extra info, hack, hijacked level required three though, so we're nowhere near that. There's no way we can do that yet. But, how far does he go? Does he go like... Just there and then turns around? Because if so, that'd be a pretty simple patrol to get by. So we have some wavering guards coming over here. That's fine. Yeah, so he's just going to go through here. So we looked around for a brief moment and then went back. Okay. So come on, guys. Come over here. Assuming he doesn't keep doing that, which I don't think he will. Um, yeah, so that's fine. So we can hack this. Now getting past that, um, that camera is going to be tricky. That's a really complicated lock, apparently. Oh, hold on. Don't do it yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. And go. Oh, we're going to have to go around... Kill that camera. Oh, too late. It already went off. Um. Yeah, this is the problem, guys. Nope, back this way. Back this way. Um, we have no cover. Weapons out. And we're hot. Um, hell. Hell, hell, hell. Come up this guy, guys. Come up this way. All we have to do is go in. That's it. That's all we have to do. And then we take care of the parts or whatever and do that. Not ideal, but maybe they'll lose this for a little while. Droid facility infiltrated, so we did it. So we got full hold of a FRED processor. Fast response emergency drop. If we can get it up and running, our tech heads in the lab can repurpose city drones and use them to drop off our agents anywhere we want in the city, even in the middle of a firefight. New flash grown clones dropped off right where we need them, it'll be great. I'll call around the middlemen and scrap sellers I know and see if our tech heads get a portable drop accuracy transponder up and running. The other thing we really need to get the Freds flying is an existing triangulation system. We have to piggyback off the city's drone communication channels to get the system operational. Let's make sure our hijacked city maintenance drones fire off the drop pod to the right place. It'll take some work, but it'll really be worth it in the long run. Okay, um, did I mention ham-fisting everything? Because that seems to be what we're doing. I don't know if anyone knows we're here. Yep, he knows. Fortunately, we have a lot of fire going downrange here. Um, we're going to have to come up close, guys. Number two is getting the worst of it here. Um, just keep running, guys. Keep running. 
Um, yeah, this is gonna suck. Uh, number one, take care of this hardware point. Um, they're gonna take out number one, is what's gonna happen. Yep, number one's down. Number four, revive. Okay, we're good. Come back over here. We need some kind of cover, guys. This sucks. Um, number three, I could really use this hardware point right here. Yeah, that was the wrong thing to do right there. And I can't cancel it. Come back over here, take out this point. I have no idea this is gonna work. Um, nope, three's down. Hell. Take out him. I don't know what else we can do. Um, three's gonna die. That's gonna suck, but nevertheless. Um, that's okay though. They're dead. Which we might still, yeah, three's dead. That's no question. Um, everyone's gonna die, so it's gonna happen. We can't get to a fast travel point because we're in the middle of combat. Okay, so everyone's gonna die. You know what? I think we just take the death. We have a couple of clones that we can totally piggyback off of. And yeah, they're just gonna die. That's fine. Yes, he's out. It does mean our skills degrade, which sucks. But we got the processor and we finished the mission, so that's okay? Not ideal, obviously. Um, what are you guys shooting at? I have no idea who you guys are shooting at. Who's left? Everybody's down. So respawn now. Um, yeah, respawn. So I guess you guys are all respawning at the nearest waypoint. Yep, that's where you guys are. Okay, so we took the des, we respawned. That's fine, I guess. I mean, not really fine, but it's fine-ish. Um, it does mean we have whole new bodies to break in. Oh, and you know what, didn't... Oh no, that's fine, that's fine. I thought for a minute that our, our infiltrator had a weapon that we needed to worry about, but... Um, no, we gave it to the research crew, so that's totally fine. Um, you know what I should have done? Is I should have done the team stimulate distribution, and that might have helped a little bit. But it's too late now. Um, it's fine, though. It's all fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Quoting Han Solo will get us nowhere. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and hack this guy, too. Because we need the bodies, man. We just need the bodies. I don't even know if um, all any of our guys are the same gender, or if it's or if it even matters. But still, yeah. Report to the cloning bay. We need like four new bodies. Fortunately, I think we'll actually be able to fill them up like right here. Yeah, yeah. There's a body right here, and there's a body right here. I call them bodies. I mean, I realize they're flesh and blood human beings, but come on. They're not doing anything with their lives, right? That sounds horrible. Um, go ahead and take his body, please. And that should take him out eventually. There we go. Okay, and uh, report to uh, nearest cloning facility, please. Just in case we need to do that kind of suicide mission again. Hopefully never, but you never know. Oh, and it, re it defaulted back to the Uzi. Well, to be fair, that probably does way more damage than the simple pistol. Okay, and then we'll take this guy, and that'll at least give us some measure of fallback. I mean, it's not great, but it'll work. Okay, so then this guy, please. Okay, so we are gradually building up funds with our ATM hacks, which is good. I mean, that's more money than we've had, which means we can start paying off people to help with these missions. So there's the Fred triangulation, which we could do. Um, I don't think we're gonna. Oh, interesting. The pings are for the data terminals, one of them which we looked at already. We probably have to look at again, to tell the truth. Okay, 
Well, that's a possibility, I suppose. That might be really easy and a simple way to get XP. Oh, except one of them, of course, is deep inside the Dracogenics military complex. That doesn't sound easy at all. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that's good to know. Maybe we won't do that right now, then. Um, what we will do... Oh, are you kidding me? Did we not actually... No, we did this. It's just part of the... It's still part of the same mission. Okay, I gotcha. So we're almost out of the easy stuff. Um, I guess the bank is next, and that's really not easy. But if we just go in, can we do both? Can we send in both the hacker and the soldier? Because getting a large lump sum and getting the ATMs to pay out more, I mean, why pick, right? Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're totally going to do the bank again. This time we're actually going to do it right. Oh, you can um, go ahead and head off for cloning. Thanks. Um, yeah, we're totally going to do it right this time, though. That's the theory. So, in order to get the relay beacon, we don't actually need to touch that. We just need to go over here to where we know the relay beacon is, which is right there. Click on it, and fast travel all, and poof! Okay, great. So there you guys are. Okay, I do like the fast travel. It does save us a little bit of time. Okay, so go past all these ads. Um, we still don't have enough for these to be hacked yet, but that's okay. I'm wondering if maybe this is our best bet, is to go in here. Because, so here's my thinking. Going in here didn't work at all. Because it's really hard to get past this camera. Well, only when it's facing that way. How far over does this swing? That's not very far. The trouble is going underneath the camera to go around and through. Doable. That seems more doable to me than getting past this camera, which barely swings at all. I mean, it does, but there's also the patrols. It's really hard to run through. We can get to that, but there's also a patrol that goes right through that door. It really seems like that's the trap, right? Yeah, it looks slightly defended, but in fact, it's harder to get through there than normal. That's my guess. Oh, and there's the cache I was thinking about. Okay. All right, so what I think we do is we send in the infiltrator. We wait for this guard to finish up. He's going to come around, circle around. He's going to do his stuff. That's fine. He can do that. We get our hacker in position here. And then I think we sneak in underneath the camera, go around, and see if we can get through that door. Okay, see, it's a really good I waited because that guard is doing exactly the wrong thing if I wanted to get by him. Alright, so we're good there. He's going to go around. I don't see any other guards. So I think we're okay. Okay, go ahead and hack this, number three. Wait for the camera to come around before you go through. It's going to be cutting a little close, but it's all right. And then go through. Go over this way. And we're fine. Up against the wall. Good. Now go over here to this door. I don't think we were spotted, so I think we're okay. Through the door, very good. All right, I'm thinking we should have hacked somebody to act as a uh, distraction, but I think we're okay. So disable the security cameras. Now, because we have the CSA bonus, this should last super long for us, which is great. Okay, so that he's gonna come around. If we need to hack the cameras again, we will. I don't think anybody else spot us though. Because right now we just set these guys up to go through the door as soon as we're ready. He's going to come by. That's fine. Oh no. Hold on. He saw something. Um, I'm not going to be able to hack him either. Get down under cover. I don't know if he's going to be able to see me, but he might. Take out your weapon. Oh no. He's totally confused now. 
He could have sworn he saw something. But he's going to double check by going up here. And nothing. So he's going to go back, I guess. The trouble is this stops me from opening the door. It's not helpful to me at all for him to do this. The trouble is if I start opening fire, there's no way for me to get support. It's so, okay. I need to close down this camera again. Okay, come down here. Hide. Shoot at this guy. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. I have some cover here, but not a lot. I mean, this guy's no soldier. And he's going to run out of Uzi ammo pretty fast. He's armored to the teeth, man. Okay, you know what? Let's go through the door. Let's just walk right past him. I mean, it's not really a walk. That means we're taking point blank damage, but I think we need to do it. He's going to shoot at us from above. That's fine, I think, because we lived. And then we disable the security system and let everyone else in. It's risky, but we did it. Now fire. Everybody fire on this guy. We're going to make a hell of a lot of noise, basically. Yeah, we just made a hell of a lot of noise and no cover. Get behind cover, guys. guy. Number three is basically trying to regain. Okay, good. He got it. Let's go through the door, guys, and we'll be able to take this guy out, and he won't have the high ground. I think number three is still hiding, so I think we're okay there. You guys can all hide over here. Nope, number three is taking fire. Number three's going to go down in a minute. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, we do have clones. We can shoot these guys as they come up, though. Um, they're not going to be able to get us nearly as well, and I think we take D. And that should help us, maybe? I don't know if it actually will. Um, we can't... Yeah, we can't really heal anywhere. We're just going to have to respawn as, po as we get there. Okay, take out him, too. Our soldier's gonna go down in a minute. Yep, there he goes. That's okay, number two can revive him. There we go, number one is back up. Which seems really unfair, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, he's gonna come up through the door, because of course he is. So come around over here, and open fire. So number three's dead, that's unfortunate, because that's our hacker. That was really the only way we were going to be able to do this properly. So go ahead and uh, number two, go ahead and save this guy. So what are we going to do about that? Um, can we do any of the hard wiring here? I don't think so. Um, but if we bring number three back in, so okay, you guys need to like hide down here for now, okay? We have no idea what reinforcements are like. So go ahead and respawn this guy. Well, let's go see where number three is. Number three is over this way, which is fair. Um, we come up over here. We might be able to hijack somebody over here and send them to the cloning facility. And that'll give us a backup for number three later. How you doing, number one, four, and two? Um, there aren't any guys here. It's hard to tell if these guys would be able to take the door by themselves. Um, so actually what I should do is just go straight. Just forget about the clone. Forget about the clone. Just go straight here. Because the camera's about to come back online. And those guys can't do anything about that. They're not trained for it. They are regenerating their health, which is good. But they're in a bad way, really. And the sooner we do this... Oh, the camera's just about to turn online. Fortunately, they're nowhere near where a camera can get to them, so that's good, but that means we're going to have to sneak past the camera again. Oh, of course you saw me. That's fine, I guess. 
to go ahead and disable the cameras now, because I don't think they can call in anybody right now. I think we took care of all their support. But we're still going to take out the camera. Take all the camera systems out. We might have actually... No, we didn't, though, did we? Because there was a guard over here with a droid. Okay, we're more or less healed up, so let's go ahead and go through, guys. Work as a team, all together now. All together now, everybody now. All together now, everybody now. Okay, pick up the equipment. Um, actually, number four, if you could pick up some ammo for your sniper rifle, that'd be ideal. Um, maybe? Okay, we've got ourselves a guard over here. I don't know if he knows we're here. Probably not. Um, but we've got another guard. Oh, hell. Here we go. Oh, he's going to fall down really fast. Yep, there we go. He didn't even call for help. And then this guy. Like right on top of him. <laughs> okay, that took care of him. Okay, guys. Come on up here. I don't know where that's coming from, but it can't be good. Just go. Just go. Just go. There's another guard right there. Come back over here. I don't know where that fire's coming from. Okay, we've got a guard coming around, but he's being really slow about it. He's armored, of course, so that means it's going to be harder to take him out. But I think we just do it. As soon as he rounds that corner. Or that one. We just take him down. Come around over here to the cover here. And then take him down. And he's out. Okay. Means we're just blasting our way in through here. And then we send in both number one and number three. We send in both our hacker and the soldier. Um, so let's separate them out. One over here, three over here. Both of you go in and go. I want you to do improved hacking, and I want the soldier to go in and give me a big lump sum. So smash and grab and do a little hack. There we go. Okay, here we go, guys. It's going to get harder. <laughs> Agents empty out the tills. So we got 6,000 in cash plus 1,000 in vault cash and the 140%. So now we need to just get the hell out of Dodge, basically. Oh, hell. Here we go, guys. Uh, get behind some cover here. This is going to suck. Oh, hell. Here we go. We got ourselves some serious... And thank goodness we're behind some cover. Okay, take care of this thing. This thing's annoying. Okay, good. It's out. And that's out. Number three is going to be in a bad way in second here. We can revive him. <laughs> okay, and he's out. Good. Number one's also in a bad way. Number one is down. Number two, revive number one. Good. Number one, go ahead and resume your attack. Thank God these guys are, you know, easily revivable cyborgs. Okay, and they're out. Everybody up and go ahead and reclaim some ammo for whatever good that does. And we need to get the hell out of Dodge, really, because the cameras are almost back up, and I really don't want to deal with more reinforcements. So let's go um, right out the front door. <laughs> you know what? Smash and grab totally works. Uh, send the infiltrator back over here, because we need to take care of the security system so we can get back through the door. And put away your weapons, guys, because we're about to head out in the world. Um, do you guys not actually listen to me? You need to put away your weapons. There you go. Okay. Okay, we have 21,000. That's really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go do the research. And we're going to go ahead and hire researchers. Um, actually, we only need three right now. And yeah, research is ongoing and it's going to cost us 9,000. But who cares, man? We have 21,000. That's how good we're doing. And okay, maybe it's not that great, but it feels really great because we actually pulled off a bank heist and got the 140% for all our ATMs. 
so we're pretty good. We, we're we swimming in cash right now. Not as much as I would like, because now it's going down because we're researching, but still, still, we're doing pretty good. And if we get this laser repeater, we could probably equip everybody with one of those. So that's pretty good. All right, so we're actually not done with the relay beacons yet. We've still got quite a few relay beacons. Oh, and there's ATMs we haven't hit yet. Well, let's not let that slide. The more ATM beacons, the better. Or ATM beacons. Everything's a beacon now, right? Did I just get hit by a car? Come on, guys. Let your auto drive work. Where did that beacon go, though? I just passed by... Well, there's two there, but I can't hit those yet. Because those are level 3 and 5, respectively. There should be one down here, though, that I passed. And I didn't even notice. Fortunately, they marked it on their map. So it's around here somewhere. And yeah, I know I can upgrade some of these guys, but some of these skills require two points. So we're just going to let those sit. Unless we already have two points by pulling off the bank heist. I guess that's possible. Where is this ATM? Though? Oh, there it is. There's the ATM. Is there a camera or anything around here? Not as far as I can tell. Let's look by world scan just to be sure. No guards and no cameras. So yeah, totally take it, man. We need the money more than these corporations do. They're the ones running the ATMs. All right, great. great. More money is rolling in. That's what I like to see. Um, we have another ATM around here somewhere, though, right? I thought for sure. For sure, I saw one. Did I not? Did I miss? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a bunch more. There's three more ATMs I could hit. So let's do that one. And that's the way we're going to wrap up this episode, is we're going to hit a bunch more ATMs, get that most of that 140%. I think that's a permanent upgrade. So I think it's just going to be 140%. Well of 0.19, so it's not all that great. But still. Uh, where the heck is this beacon, though? <laughs> Didn't I put in a beacon? I totally did. Alright, just further down, I guess. It's so weird that north is up and to the right. So that means I want to go south east, I guess? Though I'm not near it yet. Come on, guys, just jog your way in. We should probably hijack a couple of people and send them off to the cloning bays just to be safe. So, in fact, let's go ahead and do that with this girl. I'm assuming it's a girl, actually. I'm just going by the hairstyle, really. Could be any gender. Okay, go ahead and report to the cloning bays, please. Thank you. So good. That'll be good for our, um, our hacker. And we definitely need our hacker, just in case he gets killed. Um, he was killed already, but, you know. So there should be an ATM down here somewhere. But you know what, Mr. Hacker Dude? Since... Oh, there's a camera right here. Huh. So that camera has a control rod way the hell over there. Um... Yeah, the thing is, if we hack that ATM, that camera's going to see us. There's just no way around it. So what we need to do is use the world view to see where this lets off. And whoa, that is quite a ways. Oh, and there's junctions. And every oh, see, there's more cameras. All right, but there's got to be a control point somewhere. Where the heck's the control point, though? And doing everything in worldview is very, very strange. So I'm guessing, yeah, that's another camera. That's another camera, so keep going. Fortunately, our hack is going to be decent enough. I think we'll be able to make it... Boy, there's a lot of cameras around here. Yeah, there's another one. And another one. Where the heck is the control panel for this thing? Splits off again. Oh, there it is, way up there. Oh, okay, near the other beacon. 
Well, I wondered what that was for. It looks like that controls a hell of a lot of cameras. Okay, so why don't you guys come up here? Uh, we've already taken all the people who were up here before, so that's just a thing. Um, so I think what we can do is basically send the hacker off by himself. I mean, there's no real reason to do that. Yeah, there's no real reason to do that. I was thinking that it'd be safer, but really, does it matter? Because, I mean, right now, it's just probably better if they all stick together. It's okay, yeah, bring the hacker over here. Oh, there's another guy. Just a common hangout spot, huh? Well, that's going to be to your benefit, really. I mean, join the Peace of the Universe Corporation. We'll suck out your brains. Um, Probably not the best sales pitch ever. Okay, so you can hack this really easily, which is good. And then come over here, because we're going to put you to work on this ATM, which is right here. Um, that camera's still going? Well, as far as I know, I guess with the fog of war, I don't know that, do I? So the hacker's going to come down this way. Oh, and I sent off the hacker by himself, even though I said that was completely unnecessary. Um, so what I should do, what I'd love is another hacker. So where's number two? There's number two. And number three is on his way. So that one's definitely on a timer. Let's see about the next one. As we walk by, yeah, that one we saw was connected is also on the same timer. Slowly ticking down. We need to be able to outpace that policeman, though, because he's like, he's going to stop us if he sees us. Um, hacking the ATM. There's a lot of cops around all of a sudden, just realizing. Okay, that one's closed down, so yeah, that's as it should be. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you're that's right, this is a brand new number three, isn't it? The other one died. And is the camera shut off? It is not. How is that not shut off? Okay, two, come over here, one, four, come on over here. Somehow, this camera is not shut off. Can you explain that to me, please? Because these cameras are shut off, but the camera over by number three isn't. So that's got to be on a different wire. I could have sworn it was on the same network. Maybe it needs to be shut off like jointly in two different places that's possible but yeah if I just shut off I mean I could shoot it that would bring down the security but we could just hide and then they won't replace the camera as far as I know so maybe that's what we do is we shoot down the camera and then go hide somewhere so that the reinforcements don't see us. So probably bringing over 1, 2, and 4 was a bad idea, but too late for that, I think. I don't even know where they are right now. Okay, you guys, stay where you are. You're gonna stay right there. Number 3 is gonna shoot down this camera. Um, from... No, does it really matter? Just shoot down the camera. Okay, camera shot. He has an alert on him. So now we need to run. And actually, if you run towards these guys, that should actually be far enough. Um, that's probably not the way to go, though, because there's guards that way. Oh, hell. They see me. Who sees me? Okay, this guy sees me. Yeah, okay. Stand right there. Just take the arrest or the fine or whatever it is going to be. We can easily make up the money. He's probably going to take a bribe. Yeah, he took a bribe. 261. That's actually... And he kicked me. You know... <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll take the kick. I deserved it. I accept it. Fine. One, two, four. Come over here, please. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. You just watched a successful bank heist. A little bit more... Um, to the point than I really expected it to be. Um, a little less stealthy than it probably should have been. How would you guys have approached that? Let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested to know. Um, if it's really interesting, we can go back to a previous save point and see if we can pull it off. 
But for now, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Peace of the Universe. You're Peace of the Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.